After Thursday's winter storm blanketed much of the region, Pikeville Police commended its residents and highway department after receiving only two calls of non-injury collisions. Friday Mountaintop spoke with Public Information Officer Tony Kahn to learn more. Yesterday evening was, uh, was some of the worst roadway that I, I've driven on. Uh, very slick, top speeds 15, 20 miles per hour on the US 23. But everybody, d everybody did a good job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand that out there. Uh, everybody was traveling slow, driving where they are supposed to, trying to get home from work. And four and five o'clock traffic usually is when, especially with storms like this, and these snow events is when you usually have most of your collisions. And we only had a few incidents uh, yesterday evening, uh, a couple cars in the ditch, no one hurt, and then uh, check with our communications center, uh, our dispatch center, and they advised me that um, they had two, just two uh, collisions without injury all through the night. So that is amazing for that kind of weather we got. So basically, no one got hurt. We didn't have any kind of uh, collision with injuries. So it's, it's, it's very shocking, but it's, it's a good kind of shocking. I'm glad nobody got hurt or anything. In 2012, Eastern Kentucky was devastated by tornadoes. Within days, people in Western Kentucky stepped up to help the people of our region. Pikeville Medical Center is a Christian organization committed to helping others, and that includes our neighbors in Western Kentucky. Our commitment goes far beyond those who come to our hospital for treatment. That sentiment is echoed from all of us at Double Quick. The need is great right now in Western Kentucky, and we know the people of Eastern Kentucky are ready and willing to help. During this season of giving, please consider donating to those who have found themselves with nothing just days before Christmas. In-person donations can be made to all Pikeville Medical Center facilities and the register at all Double Quick locations. To donate online, go to www.givetopmc.org. Additionally, as road crews cleared many of Pike County's roads, Khan says residents deciding to go out should practice caution as temperatures are still below freezing. Just, just do the same thing that you did yesterday. Um, just be aware of what's going on. The temperatures are going to raise up a little bit, uh, which means the, the substance they put on the roadways are going to be able to melt the ice and snow. But by sundown, we're going to see a freezing again. The temperatures are going to drop. Uh, I know this morning the temperature is around 18 degrees, um, and whatever's frozen is going to, whatever's, whatever's melted is going to freeze again. Additionally, Con reminds residents to be patient as road crews continue to work on back roads. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.